everyone, Meg Lukes, and really quickly, I wanted to show you how I use the new fog presets on my images. And what I'm going to do here is I picked a few uh, personal images, and I'm going to first use my solstice presets on these, and then after, layer it with a fog overlay. And as you will see, these images that I've chosen are ones where it was like a cloudy, overcast kind of day. Uh, to begin with, I feel like these are the types of images that are going to work best with fog because typically when you have fog, you have an overcast day. Uh, sometimes you do have situations where, of course, the sun's breaking through. Um, but I found that for uh, these overlays, picking images that are overcast work really well. So I have a few different images, different uh, lighting situations and environments. First one here is of my son, and the very th first thing I'm actually going to do is just straighten this a little bit because it's slightly crooked. And this is just a straight out of camera shot. So just making sure my lines are nice and straight. And then after I do that, I'm going to look at some of my presets here and apply one. This is autumn, and I do like the tones of this. I could also go with winter which is a little bit brighter. And I think what I'm gonna do is just go with autumn. I like autumn the most. Uh, I am going to bring down my exposure just a little bit. I'm gonna apply that uh, preset. And I like the colors here. I have just a small bit of black clipping here in the corner, but that's not a big deal. And that can be easily fixed. So now that I've applied both the autumn and the exposure, lowering the exposure, I'm going to apply a uh, frog overlay. Now, as you can see, these are uh, built uh, basically either as portraits or landscape orientation. So if your, obviously if your image is portrait orientation, you wanna choose the portrait. And if it's landscape, you wanna choose the landscape. Um, pretty straightforward. So I'm just looking through these and picking one that I like the most. And I really like actually this first one. It's soft and subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now what you can do is move this around and actually lower the opacity if you want to. So I've clicked on the brush here. I'm going to select this and kind of bring this up. And it's a little a little bit slow, my computer's a little slow, but I'm just sliding this a little bit higher. And I'm also going to take, now that I've brought this up a little bit higher, one of the things that you can do is kind of brush some of this off. Um, I really don't want any of this on him. And so I'm going to now go to the erase area here, lower the flow just a little bit, make my brush nice and big. And you can hit O on your keyboard and that'll show you um, where your edits have been applied. So I've hit the O on my keyboard and it highlights the overlay in red and I'm just brushing off some of that right here. I'm gonna lower the flow just a little bit more, go up a little bit higher. And I may wanna brush some off the edges here just a little bit because um, the reasoning is because these trees and these branches that are um, close to him, they're, they're close to me and uh, Therefore, they shouldn't be as light as the background right here. So the fog should be heavier back here. It should be lighter right here in these corners. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of brushing it off uh, closest to him and to my camera. And I hit O on my keyboard again. And I'm just going to keep brushing a little bit more.
Okay. So I like the way that looks. It might go a little bit higher right here. Let's move that out. All right. I may choose to lower the opacity just a little bit more. You can see this is my before, this is my after with the fog. I feel like I want to lower the exposure even more to, I chose my um, negative 20 preset for exposure. I think I'm going to do negative 40. Okay. I like that. So it's just a little bit darker. And so now I've got the presets applied plus the fog at the top. Uh, which I think looks really natural. And again, you can always manipulate this. You can slide it up a little bit more and, and further away from your subject if you want to and brush more off. Um, that's completely up to you, of course. Okay, here's another image. Uh, again, overcast. And I am going to apply for this one, since it's portrait orientation, uh, I'm going to apply a fog overlay that's also portrait orientation. So first things first, I want to apply one of my presets. So I am going to go ahead and apply winter for this. It's going to make the colors a little bit more vibrant. You can see this is the before, this is the after. And now I'm going to just apply one of these fog overlays. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Again, portrait orientation. Now I'm going to just go ahead and move that. So selecting the brush, moving the pen. Just moving this up a little bit higher. And be careful, obviously, of where you move it. So it's a little bit higher. And then I'm going to now brush uh, this off a little bit more too. So just go ahead and erase, brush nice and big. I'm gonna go all the way up. I think this looks pretty good. I might brush off a little bit more on the edges. Again, because I want it to just look as natural as possible. And uh, because of the way I shot this, um, the, the trees here closest to me should be a little bit darker than the ones further away. So like this right here. Okay. So that's all I would do for this one. So this is the before. And then this is the after. Some of the fog overlays I've created actually start, instead of from the top of your image, they start at the bottom. And the reason is because uh, you may have situations like this uh, where you want like steam, you know, rising from a lake or river or some sort of body of water. And as you can see here, there already is a little bit of steam on this, on this lake that he's standing in front of. So I wanted to enhance it a little bit more, so I'm going to apply one of my fog overlays that has that steam look that's coming from the bottom. First thing I'm going to do is apply one of my presets. I'm going to go ahead and use Solstice Spring. And so you can see this is the before, this is the after. I may bring up the exposure just a tiny bit. I do like that it's kind of dark. So maybe just the plus 20 in the exposure. Okay. I may change that later, <laughs> but for now, that's what I have. And now I'm going to just apply one of these presets that's coming from the bottom. So this is a landscape orientation, so I want to choose a landscape orientation fog overlay. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. It's The steam is coming from the bottom. Now it's kind of masking him, hiding him, not something that I really want. So now that the fog overlay has been applied, I'm just going to brush off some of the uh, fog at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead with my brush. Select Erase, adjust the opacity. I'm going to keep it about here. My brush is nice and big. Make sure you have this selected. Erase.
Okay, so now I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit more and just kind of brush off here, kind of this head. And if you want to be careful and kind of stay within the, the lines and just solely brush it off your subject right here, just select the auto mask and brush off. just hit the all on my keyboard to kind of look where I've done that and I might just brush off a little bit more right here on the sides off this tree or bush or whatever it is okay so you can see here the difference so before that's the after so you can see there's more steam on on the lake here it's important to mention if you ever go too far with erasing um, and I feel like I see some here that I want to kind of take take off but maybe I've gone too far like right here for example maybe I want to add some more fog back to the this spot right here and right here it's easy to do just select brush right here and I like to have my flow opacity pretty low make my brush nice and small and I just kind of easily add that back in. Same thing over here, just like that. So that's all you really have to do, pretty easy. One last thing I wanted to mention is that with these fog overlays, some of them, the steam ones where they, they come from up from the bottom, uh, some of them have like a hard edge at the very bottom and some of them don't. Some of them have like a softer fog edge. And so it's easy to, you know, slide them up and move them. For example, the one I used, this has, if I were to slide it up, a little bit of a hard edge, as you can see here at the very, very bottom. So something to be uh, conscious of. You could easily still, you know, erase that and soften that quite a bit. Um, so you can work with that. Some of them uh, don't have as hard an edge as that. They have something that's like a little bit softer. So it just depends on what you've selected. Um, so if you move things around, if you move the pin around, uh, just know that, that there are some of these overlays that have a softer edge and not as hard of an edge as, as you saw there. Hopefully this tutorial helped, and of course, if you have any questions ever on any of these, just feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching.